How's it going everyone? iOS 26.2 is official release. In this video, we're not only going to go ahead and cover all the new features that got integrated on our iPhones, but also all the cool stuff that got added on Apple CarPlay because there actually is quite a few cool features and slight adjustments. So of course, timestamps of everything will be in the little description down below for your pleasure. Let's start off with one of the new improvements on Apple CarPlay, and that is whenever you have active activities right here, let me go ahead and start one up. On the active activities, right now you'll see that I only have one. You're able to actually stack up to three now, and you just do like a little finger swipe to like switch between one or two. But since I don't have anything, it just does this new animation now, where it'll actually like, it'll do like a little window animation right here, as you see. But yeah, you could have up to three now. And then again, you can always just long hold it and uh, clear it. And then in addition to that, live activities also supports more third party apps too on this latest update. Now, a new feature that was integrated for iOS 26 for CarPlay was in the message app. You know, all your pin contacts, they'll be by default on top. Some people don't like this. You could actually disable it directly for CarPlay only. A new setting that got integrated can be located in the settings section. If you scroll down, you'll see a new tab where it says pin conversations. You could disable it. So now, whenever you launch the app for messages, it will no longer do that. It will just keep track of your most recent one, which how it used to be on the previous iOS update. Now other improvements here will be the overall liquid glass. The liquid glass actually has been improved for not just the iPhone side of things, but also on Apple CarPlay. Like some of the animations you see is a little bit enhanced than before. Seems like every update the Apple enhances it so slightly. But now when you if you go into like your clear icons, you'll probably notice it even more. An example would be the Maps app. So the liquid glass is much more translucent, it seems like. But again, like every time when Apple updates iOS 26, it seems like there's always a small hint enhancement on the liquid glass design. But not only that, a common complaint I've been seeing a lot, especially with German vehicles, is CarPlay acting funny on their device. Either their device is not connecting properly and such. In those situations, I always recommend using the cable and just don't deal with the wireless connectivity headache but hopefully this version of iOS 26.2 should resolve any connection problems let me know in the comment section if you are still experiencing I know one of my friends who has an Audi A7 was having CarPlay wireless CarPlay connectivity issues uh, he told me it's resolved but I don't know let me know in the comment section what brand and model you're using if you're still experiencing the CarPlay bug but hopefully this update should fix that now something I just realized notice how I map if we use Apple Maps, if you actually change the zoom in and then you get out of there, it will actually maintain that new zoom in length you left it on. Before, it used to just been fixed to whatever Apple felt like was necessary. As you can see right there, I can literally now change the zoom in in the uh, dashboard on CarPlay. Or who knows, maybe mine was just bug. Nope, there it goes, it did it again. So I guess that's a new uh, feature that Apple silently just changed. But other than that, everything is still remains the same. You can still have the ability to pinch and zoom now. And then if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could kindly take two seconds and hit that like button and like, those truly do help out the channel. And also let me know you guys do enjoy these latest update videos whenever Apple drops an update. So by simply hitting that like button and like, allows the channel to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see brands for like sponsor sponsorship segments taking like a minute or two off your time. So thank you to those that have continued supporting the channel by just hitting that like button and like. Let's carry on. And then if your vehicle originally only had one widget support, now you may find that it has support for two widgets now which is kind of neat now on the iphone side of things let's start off with the first new feature and that is the liquid glass on the lock page you see it may be a little bit tough to see on camera but the time itself actually is a liquid glass design now you see by simply unlocking your device and just long holding to have access to the control right if you tap customize and tap on the clock, we now have an additional slider right here. We can actually control the contrast of the liquid glass design in your background. Believe it or not, on camera, it looks like I can't read that, but in real life, I can actually see that just fine. I actually do like it. That's one of the new changes right there. The other new change can be located actually in the Shazam app. Now, this, uh, this just got added today, but the Shazam app itself now features the liquid glass design because if you look down here, it actually does have the liquid glass, which is kind of cool. So this 
isn't exclusive for iOS 26.2. You just need to update the app and you'll notice that the Shazam app now features a liquid glass design. Now we did receive a new earthquake alerts for emergencies and you can locate this now in your iPhone settings in the main page right here. If you scroll down to notifications in here, notification tab and go all the way down to the very bottom and look for enhanced safety alerts. Click on it right here. You now have earthquake alerts you can now enable. Additionally, another app that received an update is the reminder app. You see by creating a new reminder, tapping plus, and we create a reminder real quick, like change the oil, not charge the oil. If you go down and enable time, the timer will now integrate to the clock app. And if you're a listener of the, somebody who uses the official podcast app on your iPhone, there'll be a new splash screen showing you that podcasts, the podcast app can actually generate, automatically create chapters on your podcast that you're lis listening to. So if we select a podcast as an example and we hit play, you could tap this little down arrow right here. You could skip between the different subjects and chapters that they were talking about. And then we always had the ability to use the LED light right here to flash whenever our phone receives a notification. Well, now you can actually enable it so your lock screen can actually do the same thing. You see, by going into your settings and going into the main page and you scroll down to accessibility and go into audio and visual right in here. And then look for the section where it says flash alerts all the way in the very bottom in here, enable it. And now you can select LED flash, which is this thing or screen flash or both. And you can also enable it if you like the flash, if you like it to flash while unlocked or flash when in silent. So I'm going to enable a flash when silent mode is enabled. And the way this looks like is if we lock our device and I go ahead and call myself. The screen basically just does that. Not only is the LED stroking, but also the screen itself is like pulsing, but it's no longer doing that because I'm holding a phone. And then the news app also has been slightly redesigned as well. As previously, it didn't have columns on top. Now it does, as you can see right there. Then the Apple TV app is now called Apple TV, no longer Apple TV Plus, and it also has a new redesign as well. Apple's own measuring app also has been updated where if you switch to the liquid leveler, you'll notice it now features the liquid glass design, which is super neat. Other improvements you can find with the liquid glass can actually be located in your home page by long holding and clicking edit and go into customize and we change to the clear icon. Just like on CarPlay, the icons, the clear transparency also has been slightly tweaked as well. Again, it seems like Apple constantly tweaks this, but yeah, liquid glass newly updated and you still have that toggle to disable it if you don't like it. I covered it in the previous video on iOS 26.1. Now, if you ever need to send an airdrop, a secure airdrop to somebody else who's not a part of your contact, maybe just a coworker as an example, there's now a new secure airdrop connection you can actually have access to. You'll find this in the settings and search up airdrop right in here. And you'll see at very bottom over here, you'll see manage known airdrop contacts. By selecting this, you'll see the contacts that you created a one-time custom link to AirDrop. Now, I don't have another iPhone with me on a different iCloud account, so I'm unable to show you this, but if you ever need to send an AirDrop to somebody else who's not part of your contact, you'll get a one-time code that they'll have to enter on their side. This way, you will have a secure line of both of you guys' devices connected and communicating to share data between one device to the other, and then you just go into that Manage section and you can just remove them once you're done. It will only allow this duration to last up to 30, day, 30 days temporary pairing and it will void after that. Additionally, the bubble animations on some of these icons also got tweaked as well. Other than that, there you guys have it. That is all the new changes for the CarPlay side of things as well as the iPhone side of things. And if you're wondering when we're receiving the ability to use AirPlay streaming onto your CarPlay head unit, I don't know. It's in the code. It's compatible. It's just... Allegedly, it's still on the automaker side of things to approve this feature to be enabled on your vehicle. So, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was really hyped up for that feature to finally be able to stream on your vehicle display. That would be really amazing, but I have no idea when that's going to be released, unfortunately. And if I sound a little bit under the weather, 
apologies. I've been battling the common code, and this time, this common code has not been so common. This is probably the worst common codes that I've ever been hit with. So uh, if I sound a little nasally, that's why. Uh, apologies for that. Other than that, you are now informed on all the cool things that Apple integrated and changed, as well as bug fixes, on this latest version of iOS 26.2. If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see all the cool tips and tricks videos before I got sick, check it out right over there as I go through a plethora of amazing hidden features and tips and tricks for Apple CarPlay. Thank you so much for watching.